Man, Eyewitness News reporter Nina Pineda is live now in Tribeca with that part of the story. Nina? Lori, that's why I brought the bagels in this morning, because this is my line, and I was 45 minutes late for work because the trains weren't running, everything was flooded, and I was late, so I said I should hide the tardiness. Like you said, they've been dealing with these delays since about 6.15. Right now, they still have service suspended between um, Chambers and South Ferry. Uh, the passengers, as usual, are taking it in stride, you know. No complaining? A little bit. It, it was a fire that actually happened near Chambers Street um, that caused the initial delays, and then they had a flooding situation between 42nd Street and Chambers, which really messed up the entire 1, 2, 3, and 9 line service. So right now, nothing is running between Chambers and South Fair, and they've also reporting some problems on the A line between 178th Street and 207th. So really, everyone getting off here is saying they are still very delayed. you got to pack a lot of patience because it's still lasting this long. We're live in Tribeca. Nina Pineda, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Hide the tardiness. i got to take lessons yeah. there. Heavy rain responsible for flooding in parts of Queens. Our coverage continues with Ken Rosado, whom we felt so bad about uh, in South Jamaica. This morning you looked like you were in the Ten Commandments with the, <laughs> the water just spraying all around you. It was horrible, Steve. I mean, it's like taking a shower, a cold shower with your clothes on, and then you have to stand in it for much of the day. It really is nasty. Uh, it still is damp and misty out right now. You know, getting around Queens on any given weekday morning is very challenging. Coupled with that, the flooding rains, and, well, what you get is a mess.